what's up this is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this video I will show you how you can capture images with Ionic and then add a little watermark either image or text to your uh, images. So that means they will have um, a little transparency and they will be added at some place inside the image or above the image and you could also save those images later. So let's see how to do it. I've started a blank new Ionic app and the first thing we're gonna do is install the Ionic native camera package because we want to capture images and also the watermark JS package which helps to um, add the actual watermark to our images. So once this is ready go ahead and also add the Cordova plugin for our camera. Um, make sure to test this app on your device if you're using a camera because it won't work inside the browser anymore now. All right, um, now head over to your app module and just like always import the Ionic native camera package and add the camera to the array of your providers and there we go. Now we only need to focus on our app module, uh, nope, on the home TS and home HTML. So within the home HTML, we're gonna call this Ionic Watermark. And then first of all, we need a few buttons to trigger some actions. Um, and the first one is to capture an image. This will call our camera function later. And then we select an image uh, you can use the library or capture a new image. It really doesn't matter at this point. I'll just call this capture image. And then we need two more buttons to test out some functionality. And the first is add image watermark. And the second is add text watermark. So you can have different elements added to your image. Um, you can specify a file that will be added at some place or just a text in a specific font that gets added to your images. Of course, if you want to uh, use an image, make sure to add it um, to the assets folder of your app. So in my case, I already added the uh, Academy image to the folder and we will see um, how this one looks like in our image later. So we got add image watermark and add text watermark. Uh, let's give them a nice secondary color. So this is still Ionic 3. Um, it might be the case that Ionic 4 is already released. So in that case, the syntax might change a bit, um, but the general idea is still uh, valid, of course. And all the logic inside our TypeScript file later is as well uh, still applicable to Ionic 4. Okay, we got this. Now we need a way to display the actual image. Um, and let's use a little ion card. Let's call this one original. And inside the ion card content, we put an image. And the source of this image is our original image, which we will hopefully create in a second. Um, also, let's only display this card if we got an actual image. Um, now a second card to display what has changed. So this is watermarked image. And now um, there are different ways to use this. We could again use this as a source, um, but I'll use it like this and add the preview image as a view child inside the page. So go ahead and say view child. The name is preview image and then call it whatever watermark image. And this is an element reference. So later we can easily set this image. Again, this works on two ways um, anyway. Also, if we capture an image, we need to transform it a bit and we will see it inside the code in a second. Um, and therefore we want to disable the button if we don't have a blob image. So you can see we will transform the actual image um, to a blob file, which is expected by the watermark JS package. All right, we got the original image. Let's make this null in the beginning. Oops, crazy import. And we got the blob image. And this one is also null. 
Okay, now we need our camera because we want to capture images. And let me bring in some stuff because it's always the same with a camera. Um, you can import the camera options as well. So in our case, we pick the data URL, JPEG picture, and I want to use them from the photo library. Nothing special so far. Like always, get picture, pass in the options, and then you will get some sort of image data um, back from the camera. Now, this image data is almost the base 64 string, so we can use it for our where is it original image but we have to append data image jpeg um, base 64 and then the actual image data so now we can display the original image once we've captured it inside our view and to use the watermark functions which we can actually also create so this was the first and the second well to use this we need a blob um, therefore we can easily use the fetch API of the browser by using our original image which is base 64 and then transform this to a blob so there are different functions you can use to um, transform it to a blob but this is actually the easiest way I could find and therefore use the blob we got here to say our blob image is the blob. And now we can use this value for the actual watermark stuff. Also, if you want, you can add, of course, some error handling, but uh, let's hope everything works out as we expected. So to use the watermark, we need to go up again and say import star as watermark from watermark.js. So I think they don't have typings yet and we can't import them like other packages, but this works still without any problems. So then we got our watermark object. Of course, we don't have the typings or the auto completion here because we don't have that information, but we don't need this anyway. So what we can say is, um, first of all, pass in our blob image, which is the base image. And then we want to put on top of the blob another image and therefore the second argument is now the path to my academy file which is in assets images academy.png all right and we also want to position this image inside um, the bigger image and therefore we say watermark image uh, lower right so it is at the lower right area we can also have center lower left top um, or just coordinates to position the image but i'll just use lower right in this example and then the transparency so just play around with this value and use what fits um, your use case then we get back an image object and i think we could also transform it directly to a data url um, but this way also works perfectly so simply say our watermark image. Remember, this was the view child we added right here. So watermark image um, dot native element dot source is image dot source because this one is basically an image object. Uh, you could also append this as a child to your view, which is used inside the documents, but this works as well. So this will add the image, and now the second one is pretty much the same in this case we don't want to add any additional image but we want to add watermark text and we want to put it in the center and then we can specify the text let's say academy then the font um, let's use a big font and also the color let's make this white and then finally the transparency again, whatever value you like, and the result is still the same. And that's everything we need to add the watermarks to our images, so let's give this a try on a device. All right, so here's the app on my device, and I'm gonna capture an image 
uh, use this one from the last conference and you see we got the image. Now let's add the watermark image and we see at the bottom um, the Ionic Academy logo which was my watermark uh, special overlay image was added at the lower right of the image. Perfect, now let's add the text and let's see and we go there and we see the Ionic Academy text was added to the image. And that's already the full magic of Watermark JS. It's a really powerful package and if you need watermarks for your images, it's so super easy to use with the Ionic images. Um, I had some problems figuring out how to use the blob and the file source and different things, but now it's just a few lines of code and you can add those awesome watermarks to all of the user generated content or other images you have inside your Ionic app. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel below and also check out the ionicacademy.com, um, this one, which is my official learning platform for Ionic with courses, training videos, projects, and a great community to support you learning Ionic. I hope to see you inside and of course inside the next video. So have a great day and take care.